Now there is an alternative way to do this. So what we've got is one query here, which gives three particular records, job titles that are least used, and I want to see the entirety of the customers. Let's create a new query. So this query, I'm just putting in the customers at the moment. So that gives me the totality of the customers. Next, I want to say, I only want to see them where the job title is one of these three least used. And that's almost what you write. You write where the job title in. Notice you don't put where the job title is in. You know, that might make it better English, but it doesn't actually work in Access SQL. You reserve is for things like is null or is not null. So where the job title in, and this is when we can now copy and paste our query. Where the job title is in, and again, just like last time, we put a bracket around it and close the bracket. Now, there is one big caveat. This will not run as is. You've written a subquery that returns more than one field. Can't do that. So you can do that in a from because this is, I suppose technically this is not a subquery. It's a derived table, but I call them subqueries. This is technically a subquery. So what it's saying is, I on I'm looking for the where a job title. So I only expect one field to be at the end, and that field to be the job title. So we get rid of any other uh, fields apart from job title. So now I'm saying, I want to select everything from the customers table where the job title is in this list. So let's run this now. And there we have exactly the same thing. So what's the difference between these two? Well, if we have a look at these two particular queries, this where one, we haven't had to write a join, not one. Which should you use? Whichever one you prefer, because actually in internal logic, it works out as exactly the same. It's just whichever one you're more comfortable with. So if you want to use, as opposed to using a derived table, if you want to use a sub query in the where clause, you put where name a field in, and then your sub query in brackets. And remember, it can only return one field.